Hello guys, uh, in this video I'll show you how to uh, uh, repartition your hard drive or uh, change the partition size uh, of your uh, computer using uh, uh, SS, uh, SS, uh, partition master. So first of all I'll um, uh, start this program first and press yes. So you can see here my C drive is um, about uh, 112 gigabyte and the total SSD capacity is around 500 gigabyte and you can see there are some unallocated spaces. So guys, um, when I'm trying to extend the C drive uh, because it has uh, only 112 gigabyte space, I found there is a block, I mean you can see here there is a partition here uh, 508 megabyte. So it is not clear why this partition has been created by the Windows. But if you go to Windows built-in this partition, like uh, search here, um, create and format this part partition. I'll show you what did they do. When the Windows up was updated, uh, this partition was created by Windows itself. So what I need to do, this is a recovery partition. I don't want to damage this partition. So what I'll do, my plan is to move this recovery partition from here to the unallocated space somewhere here and give some uh, space to C drive from the unallocated space. So to do that, what I'm planning to do, just let me keep it minimized or um, whatever. So what I'm planning to do, you can see here, there is a uh, partition master here. Uh, it is um, visible the drive 508 uh, megabyte, but uh, it is not visible in Windows. So I'll run the AO MEI backupper. So once you run the AO MEI backupper, go here to backup, and from here partition backup. So what I'm going to do, select I'll select the that partition. This is the one, the recovery partition made by Windows. I'll select this partition and add it. Then I'll keep it as a backup file in C drive. Then I'll move it later. So I'm now creating uh, a partition uh, 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 backup in the C drive. So select it and start um, there are options, backup option let me check what are the options mm, anyway we are not going to do any of these things so just start backup it will take only a couple of minutes maybe one minute or two minutes so after that we'll break that partition i'll completely abolish that partition and i'll restore from the backup later on so you can see it is done now if you just keep it leave it open if you go to the c drive that uh, that drive is backed up here in the c drive you can see my backup one so now what i'm going to do i'll keep this uh, one closed and i'll just let this one stay here this is windows disk management tool this is built in uh, i'm going to use a partition master and I'll delete this partition definitely. So uh, select this partition and delete it simply. Okay, it is not going to harm your computer at all. So now you can see here this uh, C drive and after that unallocated space. So I'm going to um, extend the C drive to around 200 uh, mega uh, gigabyte. So right click and that should be option to resize so i'm going to resize uh, my plan is to make it uh, 200 gigabyte so 200 gigabyte means uh, multiplied by 1024 megabyte so it will be 208 uh, okay let me see from here i'll do 208 uh, uh, let me just calculate it in my mobile. So how much does it comes? So 200 times 1024. 
204,000 uh, and 820 megabyte. Okay, so you can see that will be unallocated space here after that, and it will be 200 gigabyte exactly when you will see in the windows. Now press OK and say apply. But once you will apply, because the change is taking place in the C drive, the uh, computer will restart. So we, ha we have to wait while it is being restarting. So now I'm pressing apply. So you can see the message has popped up already. One or more uh, of the operations you may require rebooting to complete. So if you press yes, it will reboot. Okay. So guys, the computer has been restarted and now you can see uh, if you go here, you can see the C drive has been uh, uh, extended to 200 gigabyte so um, what I'm going to do now um, and one more thing I'll show you here that create uh, or and format these partitions this uh, windows built-in tool I, I'll show you here you see uh, the recovery partition has gone so I need to bring that recovery partition back over here in this unallocated space so uh, in later on when i'll uh, do a factory reset this recovery partition will be needed but this is not really very very urgent um, you can do without that but uh, there is some uh, tricks or there is some problem that you need to face so anyway now i will uh, run the uh, uh, aoe my backup R and restore that small recovery partition so to restore that small partition go to restore and i can remember that it is in my backup one or you can choose the path from here like i uh, in my case it was in the c drive so go to c drive and select go here and select this partition and do open now select this and go to the next uh, select the capacity go to the next and I'm going to uh, put this small partition in this unallocated space so what will happen it will take a small part of this um, unallocated space to make that partition so ultimately what is going to happen when Windows uh, use this recovery partition for any region it counts how many partition do I have in my hard drive so you can see I have a small partition this is system reserved and this is the main C drive and that partition will be here so it will be exactly in the same location it uh, the order sequence will be the same so that's what I want so now I'll press next and this partition will be reallocated here align partition to optimize SSD okay and then restore so it is not going to harm your system or it is not going to make any changes to your system even this partition will be invisible in windows so that is done now uh, press finish guys now i'll show you uh, if you go back to let me close this uh, because the um, recovery is done you, if you go to the create uh, and format hard disk this uh, windows built-in tool now you can see the small partition has come back this recovery partition i want that to happen so that is completely done now i need to make another partition using this space uh, this unlocked space i can make it from here as a simple volume or i can use the is a partition uh, master uh, from here uh, whichever uh, i like and i'm closing this i'm going to uh, do it using this is a partition master <coughs> So you can see this unallocated space here. I'll just um, uh, make a partition here. Right click and create a partition. So I can uh, keep it primary or logical, whatever I like. Um, let, let, let me keep it as primary as well. Uh, so if you keep the partition as primary, uh, sometime later on you can use it uh, to install other operating system or something and the they are putting the drive letter e i cannot use the d i don't know why they have uh, uh, blocked the partition letter d here so anyway i can change this um, drive letter later on so now i'm going to make this partition 
and apply and it's done it will take only uh, one meter or less uh, just to um, create and format this partition E so it is done now if you close this well if you close this and go back to my computer you can see here the partition E so I thought it will not be visible but some for some reason it is uh, it has become visible uh, I think there is option to hide this partition because actually we do not need to see it because uh, you may make uh, damage you see there is nothing in this uh, partition but still uh, uh, it is uh, occupied by some files or folder that is not shown here so Guys, if you want to hide this partition, you can uh, do that. There are some options even uh, from the ISOS partition magic master or something. Uh, so that is all. How did I um, extend my C drive? Even though there was a, um, uh, invisible uh, what is called uh, recovery partition. Guys, thanks for watching the video. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to keep the C drive uh, completely backed up. So that uh, by any chance if your C drive or the Windows is damaged, you can um, uh, restore your uh, uh, Windows completely and it is very easy. And I'll do it with um, uh, uh, this one, the AOMEI. Uh, this is a free software you can download from the internet. Uh, there is a standard and free version. Uh, you can download the free version and you can do it. So guys, thanks for watching the video and uh, i'm going to stop recording now uh, please um, subscribe to my channel and like and share this video